Well, Dave, are you excited? It's looking really nice, man. This is awesome. I was just playing some music at our friend's house and thinking about how nice it'll be to play this one here very you, soon. You were playing music? You mean you were playing the banjo? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could call that music. But... <laughs> just a banjo joke. We're just kidding. <laughs> Dave's a great banjo player, but he's a mainly he's a harp guitarist, and here's his signature harp guitar. This is it. It's time to take the tape off of here. Are you guys ready to see the unveiling of this? Uh, yeah, let's see that arm bevel. Arm bevel thing here. It's, How's that tape? Is it glued, uh, it's, glued itself on there? It's coming off. Okay, I, I'll just use it as an as a binding tape sometimes. You know, I I, I think if you trouble. use it on the uh, hardwood, it's okay, but. If you start putting it up on the softwood on the top and stuff, it's oh. going to tear out some grains probably. Well, so. we'll see how that works because I did use it a little bit on that 24 string harp guitar. It's under the bench right there. I have to take the. Looks like you might want to time lapse this. It's kind of hard <laughs> taking this. Looks like this side is pretty much all sealed up. I am noticing one little, one little gap right in the waist right here. There's a. You can kind of see right there, and I can actually push it with my thumb, which is a, a good sign that that'll close up. All we need to do is just squeeze a little glue in there and maybe just somehow get a clamp on there. It's kind of a hard surface to clamp. That, that, it looks to me like it's, is that a gap or is it just where it's over top? It's just... No, you can, you, can, you can see the gap in you there. Stick your fingernail in there. If you kind of look at it this direction, you can see like deep down, <laughs> deep down in there. So yeah, you can... All right, got that little gap closed up nicely, and this. Uh, oh yeah, that seamed the, up nice. The, be the chest bevel veneer is looking nice. It's gonna match that binding real well. So we'll just have to let that dry now. <laughs> I guess it can just stand here. <laughs> yeah, it'll have to I'm sit there it, for a while. I'm afraid it's gonna fall off if I try to pick it up, though. Oh, the clamp. Yeah. All right, so we're super excited to get Dave's harp guitar done, and uh, I'm going to continue working on this stuff today. I've got the 24-string left-handed harp guitar. Get all the binding tape off of and see how that worked out, and uh, go from there. All right, so the binding uh, glued up real nicely on the 24-string uh, um, left handy and uh, I'm going to be doing some more finish work on this flamenco guitar. Alright, so the Flamenco guitar is now safely in the spray booth waiting for its next couple of coats and I've got a new request uh, to um, build a uh, tie block and bridge for this S19 NST, which will be the new Jamie Dupuis signature harp guitar model. Not, not this one in particular, this was an extra one we built. And uh, it's going to be, it, uh, it sold uh, on our website recently, and um, I need to get the uh, bridge and tie block glued on, so that'll be my next project. All right, so I got the uh, little piece of paper made for my Super Trouble tie block for the S19 NST, and I did a few little preliminary measurements for how much I'm going to need to um, curve this bridge for the same guitar. So I'll be um, doing a little bit of work on this one, and I'll be making one of these from scratch.
Okay, so, so far I've gotten the tie block to this position now. This is the uh, front, the tip of it there towards the neck and the, the area that uh, towards the, well, the uh, shoulder. And so this is the back side where the strings come out and tie around here. And then there's the front side. So the front side, the, the string holes are much, are perfectly even. The back side, sometimes they're, they, they wander through there a little bit, but they're pretty much even there. So now I'm going to just double check, make sure I have the last little bit you saw me doing on the on the belt sander was to put a slight radius in this back underneath side. So just set it on here. See how much it's teetering. It looks like just barely a little tiny bit on the far shoulder area there. So I need to put just a little bit more radius in the underneath side of this thing. Okay, so the tie block's all done. Got a nice little uh, buff job to it there. And next, I'm gonna wander around the shop until I can find the bridge blank that I had. There it is. So I'll be working on this bridge blank for the same guitar. Uh, first, I think normally, first I do the radius to the underneath side of it and double check all that to make sure it fits nicely to the top. Then I scallop the ed ends and finish sand it. All right, folks, I'm going to call it right there for an episode today. Thank you so much for joining us on the YouTube channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Uh, we're really looking to get to that 1,000 subscribers. So, um, yeah, it's really awesome that you've chosen to join us and follow along with these guitar, harp guitar builds, uh, both guitar and harp guitars. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for all that, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, and stay tuned. I'll be finished sanding and shaping Dave's harp guitar starting as soon as possible.